So uh, this is a vial of, of the virus that you've been using to treat patients, Derek, and it was actually manufactured here in Ottawa and, and then ultimately filed and, uh, and so it's, it's uh, stable for several years and so we can keep it in the freezer and, uh, and this is enough to treat uh, one patient, this one. Yeah. Yeah, so. What we hope to do is to be able to use first the, uh, the cold virus, the adenovirus, and then subsequently this uh, marabavirus which comes from a sand fly in Brazil and uh, convince the patient, uh, the patient's immune system uh, to go after not just the viruses but to go after this protein which is expressed on their tumor. So we're, we're um, only having patients that express this particular protein on their tumors participate in the study and by using this sort of prime boost of vaccine type strategy hopefully we'll be able to convince the, the patient's immune system uh, to go after the cancer. Now it means a lot to me because I think it helps it helps the people uh, seeing that you know there are other treatments, even if it is clinical trials, but that there is something out there. And, and I think I'm an example of, um, well, that it works. Well, I didn't have any choice at that moment because the chemotherapies were not working for me. And like I said, Dr. Jonker asked me, he had that viral therapy, if I would like to participate. And, well, I was intrigued with it, and I said, well, I'll do it, because it would help uh, myself. Well, we, don't, we didn't know, of course, but, you know, and, and then other people, too, because they see the example, and then um, for further studies, it's easier, too. Yeah. Having yet another novel way of treating cancer is a great advantage. Whether we ever completely negate the use of chemotherapy or radiation treatment is an open question, but looking for potentially alternative ways with different mechanisms of action, with different ways of garnering uh, immune plus novel approaches to cancer cell destruction, I think that's where the real potential advantage is.